Hi, my name is Dan, and this video is one in a series of videos that I'm doing about the use of vectors in the Unreal Engine. I cannot stress enough how important it is to have a good understanding of vectors to be able to do uh, good scripting in Unreal. Um, and in this, we're going to talk about uh, lengths of vectors. Um, so if you don't understand the concept of a vector, I've got another video. The first one in this series is about um, uh, what a vector is. So I'm assuming that you have some understanding of what a vector is. Um, and uh, in this video, we're going to look at uh, vector lengths. Um, it's going to be quite short. I'm just going to do one quick demonstration of uh, looking at the length of a vector. Um, so what I've got here is a third-person blueprints template. Sorry. Uh, project with a few things that have been added in here, uh, which are not to be worried about. They're just remnants from earlier videos that I've been doing. We're going to play here, and I've got this blue cube. This is part of the template, um, which I can kick about. Okay, and there are a few of those uh, around. Um, and the reason I'm demonstrating that is because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this blue kickable cube as a thing that's going to uh, talk about its uh, position vector, otherwise known as location in Unreal. And um, uh, so, uh, and so, yes, here we go. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this, which is basically just a, a static mesh uh, instance. Uh, it's actually a static mesh actor, but don't worry about that. Um, I'm going to turn this into a blueprint that I can put some scripts in. Um, that's really easy. I just click on it and highlight it. And up here uh, in the various bits in the in the details pane, I can uh, click on converts this actor into reusable blueprint class that can have script behavior. So I'm going to click that. Uh, parent class should be. I should keep it as it is. A static mesh actor blueprint name. Um, Path all game. Um, is it really going to put it there? That seems like a strange place to put it. Um, Starting my shuffle blueprint. I'm going to put it inside my content and just put it in. Oh, I've got on my VP. So on. Mm -hmm. Blueprint name. I don't care today. It's fine. All right. Uh, and what I'm going to do is this. Uh, it allows me to do script, so I'm going to use the event pick, and I'm just going to print out how far this box is from the origin in the uh, in the Unreal world. And I'm going to do that by using the um, location vector. So get at uh, location, which you can see is a vector, which is yellow, and I'm just going to use the length, so vector length. Um, Node there, and I'm just going to print out. So print string. So what that does is it gets how it works out how long the vector is and ignores the direction. Uh, so you should know vectors have a length and a direction. Sometimes the length is the thing that's most interesting to us, and I'm just basically demonstrating this node, which is the vector length node. Okay, so hopefully. We play that's printing out, and that's how far it is from the origin. I happen to know the origin is somewhere around about that corner. So, as I kick this box towards the corner, that length should come down. We're coming down 900, 800, 400, 300, 200. So, how's how low can I get it? 227. So, that's how much further I need to get it to get it at the origin. Okay. And that, in a nutshell, is how you find the length of a vector and kind of what it means. Hopefully that this simulation will show you that it just means how far are we from the corner. We can get roughly 800 away in that direction. We can get some more kind of distance away in a different direction. We've got a lot of space to play around with. But there we go. So that's it from me for now.